Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Ballroom. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today here in the Misty Plains, I think it's called. It's um it's the uh it's the area to the northwest of the southwestern area of Ballroom. Yeah, I was looking around. I um I, I will show you in a little bit um what I found in the main map of Ballroom, but I was looking around there and uh, I've I've cleared out pretty much everything. And I, I had a little time to, to kill, so I decided it was a good idea. I'm not sure if it was, but I decided that it was, so I decided it was a good idea to come here to the misty places of mistiness and uh, try to try my luck at this thing and uh, what these guys are. You guys might remember this location just because I didn't actually explore too much in here, uh, and the reason for that was because we were fighting higher level enemies. Well. Uh, as, as, as we know, I am kind of a badass and I kill pretty much anything that comes in my way, so it is fine. And, um, yeah, besides, they are kind of... There's no big groups of enemies, so I can I can do whatever I want. Uh, so I decided to start this episode here uh, because, well, there's not really that big of a, an interest in, in the fights that are going around here. I don't mind this uh, because I've been doing that. Um, I don't think I need the life plants. I think they are required for I think level the first the first uh, healing potions. We aren't taking that many healing potions anyway. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you this thing because oh, a chicken feather hat. Okay, well that was a lackluster start start for an episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you signed up for when you opened my video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, no, this is gonna be yet another episode where I just go around and fi find loads of interesting stuff, hopefully, and um, skip all the uh, walking around, because that is not as interesting. Uh, hopefully you guys are gonna have a good time, but for now, I will, oh man, I will see you in a little bit when I find something else. I found an anvil in the middle of nowhere. And also a couple of guys here that are gonna be a little bit of an issue, probably. This guy's immune to arcane, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and make, put this guy over here to sleep. Fantastic. Now Jeff needs to help me. Uh, actually, I don't think he needs to. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, attack this guy if I can, and just yeah, kite him as well. But what is this? We got an anvil in the middle of nowhere, a bench or not a bench, a stool over there, kind of sideways and all that. Apparently, whoever was sitting on it didn't find it comfortable enough, so they just up and left. This guy is gonna up and leave as well, and now that guy over there is gonna be a bit of a trouble. I'm gonna close in on him. We should have enough time. Let's see. I'm not gonna attack him myself. I'm gonna let Jeff do the do it. There you go. And now I go with this. Now he's stunned. Get that one off, and of course he's back out of his sleep, which is interesting because apparently when Jeff attacked him, he didn't leave his sleep. But anyway, uh, this guy's going down with a quickness because I got blindness. I got fear if I want to, I got criticals at any time, damage over time, and that's gonna be the last one that he's gonna take, and I'm gonna get out of here, and it's just gonna die, look at that, what is that? Hmm, I don't know what that is, let's take that, and that's, ooh, there's another centipede on the other side, I hate these things, I absolutely hate centipedes, the problem with the centipedes is that they cannot be silenced, I think they just have ranged attacks, that's what they have, and they poison you, oh, ancient anvil, using this anvil increases critical, uh, crafting critical chance, by 25%. That's pretty good. It's a shame that I don't craft that much. Uh, but it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I mean, we need to kill this guy soon, but uh, let's see if I can get Jeff to do it. Okay. And now Jeff is gonna attack it. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's the problem, is you never know when they're gonna go with ranged attacks. So it's kinda tricky to time your attacks correctly. As you could see there, he didn't move, and I was hoping he would. But anyway, let's see what we have here. I wonder if I... I've never seen a critical a critical uh, craft on the simple arrows. I, I've seen that in the uh, critical craft on when crafting on smelting, but uh, actually, uh, is that critical smelting? I don't know. What do we have here? Dark deal ring. When mana is under 50%, it slowly regenerates mana. So it's much like the other ring that we found about health. I think we found two, actually. Or I found two. We got the voodoo blade here. That uh, is not an upgrade, but it's still very nice. It's almost an upgrade. Uh, so, yeah, it's almost an upgrade. Extra dexterity. And this one gives you... Eh. I mean, this one gives you extra strength. Which is pointless, because that is not a strength-based weapon. So it's kind of... There's no point in using that. But there we go, we found the... Um, ancient... 
anvil, and I will never be able to find it again, although I do know more or less where I am. It's kind of in the middle of it all, to the um, west. Mm. Anyway, I this place, this place is mostly just um, it's mostly just grinding, from what I can tell. Bunch of enemies, a bunch of loot, a bunch of those things. I've been able to find some eh, non-interesting things, no, no upgrade or anything. But yeah, I think I, I've done about 70% of this. Now count, yeah, it's, eh, should be about that. I'm gonna continue exploring. Oh man, another one of those. But I do need the experience, so I guess, I guess that's my life. Oh, what is that? Moonlight butterfly. It's the middle of the day, but it's apparently it's out. The moonlight butterfly, and that that is a house. Oh, there's another one of these. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. Uh, yeah, this place. I'm actually fairly closer to the end of this place. Uh, we have been uh, so the anvil should be about there, and I think the end of the map should be about here, uh, and then we have all of this. I think that's how it goes. But yeah, let me kill this guy over. Ooh, what the hell's wrong with it? Oh, I guess I didn't right click. Okay, there we go. Stack with those. I've been killing these puny melee dudes without any ranged attacks like this. I just do deep damage over time. I do um, critical strike, save some arrows, save some patience because I, yeah, I don't like to uh, switch the switch the abilities like that. I don't see what that. Can you tell me? Thank you. Ooh, a boar skin belt and spider webs. Okay, don't need either of those, but I'll take them. Even though I don't need the money, because apparently I have an item that uh, that I don't know what item it is. I think I lost it back. Uh, lo I lost it. I I I, uh, I left it back home. But yeah, I apparently have an item that gives me money infinitely, forever. So I don't need more money. I, I mean, I never need more money. It's the the money situation is not a problem. Let's just say that. Let's take care of this larva over here. Apparently, this farmhouse or something is surrounded by these things oh man that's nasty okay so let's go ahead and uh, attack there go with the critical and now hopefully I move in and it moves in and it gets stunned yes that's how it goes now uh, actually this might be a bad oh it didn't get stunned I was gonna say that this might be a bad idea it probably is it probably is for a very there we go for that simple reason right there I'd rather Jeff take that that attack rather than me because I have armor and things break and I need to repair them and it, that is a bother. Also, the thing that's been breaking the most has actually been my my bow and it's halfway through its um, its uh, durability. But yeah, the, the the bow is breaking the most, which is kind of bad. I think I only it only broke off camera though, which is a good thing because it is surprising when I break the bow. It's like mm, I can attack. That's bad. I'm not sure if I if I broke it off on camera though, but if I did, then you yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. Now this giant beetle here is gonna take a little bit of uh, giant beetleness to the face. Let's go with that one. Hopefully it doesn't drop those nasty eggs that blow up. One of, one of these dropped a uh, an egg to the north from here, northeast actually, and um, I left it back there. It didn't blow up. It's, there's no timer there. It's just they they blow up. I think on when you close or something, I don't know. I don't know how it goes, or your movement, maybe. It's kind of, kind of like a movement mine. But this thing here, it's the biggest moth we have seen. That's not a butterfly, that is a moth. I know, I, I know, okay, the game, you're, you're not gonna, yeah. You're not gonna fool me, game. You've shown me moths before, they look like that, except they're a little bit different. But, ooh, what is that? Ring of Despair, when health is under 20, you know, all outgoing damage are, are yeah, is increased by 10. That's not too much. It should be increased by ten, 100. And even then, even then, that wouldn't be enough. I wouldn't use it. Okay, so this thing is aggressive. Let's murder it. Okay, it's just like any other moth. It has... Um, okay, Jeff needs to stay back here because it's not going to do any damage. So I might as well just do that. Uh, I think it's hiding. I think so. Oh, no, it's going over there. Okay, that's not too bad. I, I don't, yeah, it can pass through here. That's not too bad. Now, let's see if I can... I'm gonna sacrifice Jeff over here. That's pretty good. That Things are going well. It's kind of tough, but yeah, I've killed the architect. So, this girl is going down. Go with that one. Now, Jeff, if I move in, Jeff's gonna stun it. Yep, there we go. Okay, how much damage was that? 284. That's, that's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. Okay, let's go with that one. Now a stun here and attack. Attack again. Oh, my stun didn't go off. Oh, the blind did. And one learning point. There you go. Adept's tunic. Tattered plant pants. Not plants. The second twin ring. We have the first and we have a second. I don't know where I left the first. 
but it's somewhere. I think I left it back home, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be careful about that. I'm gonna keep it over here. This one, so... Actually, I don't need this. It's for this spellcaster ring. Ain't nobody got time for spellcasting. Well, I have some spellcasting ability. Maybe... I, I don't fail that my spells all that much, though. My abilities are basically... Uh, the lower threat. Yeah, and there's also... The distract and... The sleep. They don't fail. Nazareth. Isn't that a god? Isn't that the mad god? I think so. Hmm. Let's go in here and see what we can... Fine, no trap. I thought I took damage, but I didn't. There's a sconce over here. There you go, see? Lighting this place up. Making it all nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. How do you th I like that? How do you like that? Anyway, let's check out about this Nazareth dude. Uh, so, Eogor and Atticus feared that Nazareth might turn into a new mad god. They ordered King Tristan, so that was my grandfather, to put an end to what was happening in Darkwood at all costs. While Tristan and his army distracted Nazareth, they planned to banish her to the void. Okay, so we've learned about Nazareth before. So she was the one that uh, wanted to torture, or that did play with the ancient humans. So she was the mad. She she was mad when she became. Ma she was mad, as in angry, when uh, the old mad god was killed, or the original gods, because these are these new gods were their children, from what I from what we learned before. And from what I remember. So see, yeah, we're very close to the end of this place. So we learned a little bit about the, uh, Nazareth. This Nazareth, I, I, I kind of sounds like a guy's name, but it's not. It's a girl. Uh, we got a bear over here. But yeah, we learned a little bit about that. But, um, I forgot, I forgot. Man, I forgot Jeff back there. But anyway, I will see you in a little bit if we find something more in this place. Uh, oh, otherwise I will see you in a little bit somewhere else. That, that, that place that we were just at, that was the Misty Pines, and it had nothing else for us. It was very, yeah, it was uh, very grind-oriented, just, you know, getting some experience, getting some ingredients, a lot of ingredients, actually. Uh, what is that? Oh, this is, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, this is the place that I found, I marked it with a big X on the map, I'm gonna remove it all. This is the, one of the three places that I found on the remaining... Um, stuff that we haven't explored apart from this place apart from the rest of Erdl over here so yeah let's let's see what this is maybe another riddle kind of looks like the thing we found yeah there's something funny about this statue what part of you never stops growing well isn't that a little bit too personal to ask uh, I know uh, there's the nails that never stop but there's also other parts that never stopped and I'm not being dirty here mm, so nail nail nails it's not the nails, so the nose. Could be the nose, I think the nose is one of those. Yes, it is. And also the years, the years never stop growing. Uh, everlasting ring, slower item, durability, I don't need that. Why did you, mm, okay. <laughs> why, why the, the riddle? Why the riddle? I like how the riddles all, are all biology related. <laughs> well, the two riddles that we found in that situation. There's other riddles as well, but yeah, that's that was interesting. So yeah, there's the nails never stop growing. That's part of the body as well. The hair never stops growing. No, actually, that, that kind of does. Because if you stop having hair, um, yeah, th that could be considered. Uh, but yeah, I guess I guess apart from the nails and body, that would be the nose and the ears. And about that's about it. That's about it. The skin actually, I think, doesn't grow itself. I think that's just how you know when you go when you grow older, you have more skin. But I'm not really sure why that is. I'm not sure if it's because it gets distended rather than growing. But that might be the same thing, getting distended and growing. It's that anyway. Let's not keep talking about growing. Let's see something else. And this is the something else that I also want to show you. This is down here, mark it as well with a big X on the map, because I wanted to know, make it different from the other ones. And let's go down here. Hopefully we're going to find, like, the square rune, because we need a square rune for, for that place right there. That's the last place, I think. Oh. Oh. Okay, so our eyes are adapting to the darkness. Or is... I don't know. It's, it's all fine. I got... I forgot for a moment that I had... Oh. Jeff is not with me. No, he is. There he is. Okay, so I can mine this. Let's do that. Can I mine this? What is that? Life plan. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, I do have the auto save, so let's go ahead and uh, play off that one. I can see in there, so that means... Oh, that actually... I can't... Oh, there's a rat thing. Okay. 
be careful about those because I miss them. I know I do because some of you guys have been telling me like, you missed this or missed that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing a completionist run. Uh, I don't think this game actually lends itself too well to a completionist run. It's not really that important to be, uh, you know, to do everything, I don't think. We're at a point where we're really overpowered. So, yeah, I, if I'm gonna miss something, it's fine. Don't worry, guys. You f Feel free to tell me, though, uh, because, you know, for example... Um, the strange thing that I have or had somewhere, I have, I think I left it back home or something. The strange, no, there it is. The strange liquid that we've made with that recipe from the guy downstairs. I didn't know what to do with that one. Well, duh, you need to t give it to the guy, I think. I mean, uh, I think it was Betty the Badger that told me in the comment section. So yeah, we got two, I've seen two rat holes. I am going into them. Transform myself into a rat and Jeff is gonna stay back here. Even though I bet it'd, it'd fit in there, you just need to, I don't know, just, he's, he's that, he's tiny. I mean, just, he's not, but. Okay, so what do I need? I need potions, potions, I need that, I need this one, man. The hiccups right now, I apologize. Um, so yeah, let's go with some life herbs, let's uh, gnaw away at this crystal, let's see what we have here. Also, I, th I don't think this is worth, I don't think I should do this. Uh, just uh, mining this stuff because I don't need the stuff anyway. Uh, talisman of Eogor, plus two strength. That's pretty nice. I think I have a plus one dexterity talisman, and this is what I was looking for. Uh, oh, this is, it's multiple levels. I think I might need to. Oh, that there we go. Okay. So as long as there are no enemies, I am fine. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so it's fine. We have uh, exits all over the place. How do I get in there though? Didn't see that. Should be easy. There it is. It's right there. Okay. So let's open this. Uh, pick this lock. Left. Left. No. Left. Right. Right. No. Le no. Left. Right. Left. Left. No. Left. Right. Left. 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 No. Left. Right. <laughs> left. Left. Right. There we go. What do we have here? Ritual Grand Staff and a Confessor's Robes. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a no. This one is not locked. A wolf slayer that actually it seems not to be that good, and a splint mail that I think I have already somewhere. Maybe I don't know. This is a 32. Eh, it seems to be good from what I can tell. And I got another potion just in case I get trapped. That was a good drop. That right there. I'm not sure if it was hand placed, but I would believe it if it were hand placed uh, because you know that that makes sense. Also, I think I see something on the other. S oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So we have 15 seconds, as it were, it's probably more like 20 to get out of this, and Jeff, follow us. That rat knows how to whistle. I can't whistle like that. I mean, that, no, nah, I can't, that, that's with a, I don't, I, I can't do that. I know how to, it's not too bad for me, I mean, not, I'm, I'm not a good whistler though, uh, but I can't do that. That's as high as I will go. So as high as I can go, of course, I if I could, I probably wouldn't do it with a microphone because it would destroy recordings and stuff. But anyway, I'll see you in a little bit for more stuff. And this is the stuff that I saw as well. It's a house. It's uh, it's got stuff that around. Oh yeah, there's only one person in there. I've I've looted everything around. Isla is her name. And uh, I don't know who she is. I also, I, I'll just look at my at my journal. We have so much stuff to do. I'm gonna have to um, to uh, prepare that. But today is not the day where we're gonna do this. Today we're gonna talk to Isla. Hello. She is a beautiful woman. Her long blonde hair runs down on her shoulders. Her eyes are clear blue. That as as I, but as I look into them, I sense great sorrow. She must be a mage because there are various potions around her, and there is a wooden wand in her hand. Well, you look like you need help. There is nothing I can do now. Nothing can change the past. Everything would have been much better. I would be a high mage of the mages of the mages guild by now. They kicked me out because of my so-called uncontrollable temper. I told them that it's his fault, not mine. Everything is his fault. What are you talking about? My brother, Ronius Stokius. Our parents died when we were young. He took everything he could and left me alone. He left me alone in our empty home. Nothing. He left me nothing. Can you imagine what I had to do to make a living? I had no skills. I was only a child. I, I swore that one day I would have my revenge. Well, that is horrible. I'm sorry for what happened to you, but things are fine now, aren't they? 
Fine. You call my eye fine? I was meant to be a high mage. One way or another, I will have my revenge. You don't look like you like those nitwits up in their mage tower. Mm, you could help me. Help you with what? With my revenge. Take everything from him. The only thing valuable to him is his research. He's not going to discover anything, the fool, but his papers mean everything to him. Better still, kill him. Yes, kill him. What do you say? I think I will leave now. I knew you wouldn't help me. Get out! Well, I think I killed it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I think I killed his brother, her brother. Or, I did, I, I remember his name, so I'm not sure if he attacked me or something, but apparently he's dead. I don't really know. Apparently, yeah, your brother's dead. What? You killed him? Thank Nazareth for this day. I never thought I would have peace in my life once again. Thank you. Here, take this. You've earned it. And I've earned an unmarked dagger. That's crappy as hell. And uh, not even a kiss. She is... I mean, she's probably... She... I don't know. If, if if a woman like that doesn't have... No, that's, mm. <laughs> I was gonna say something stupid. I was gonna say that if a woman like that doesn't have people telling her that she's beautiful, she's probably not aware, but yeah, she probably is. She probably is, anyway. Uh, I mean... She's a mage, so she's kind of weird. Let's see. She, she, oh, didn't get this one. Didn't get that one. It's a good thing I did. But anyway, to, to right now, I was going to say tonight. It's not night for me or you. Well, no, actually, it could be for you, but not for the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to the northeast uh, teleport ballroom. I still haven't found the other thing. And, of course, I still haven't found the... Uh, the uh, What's the name? What's the name of the thing? Ah, the square rune right there. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. But anyway, we're going over to here. Uh, we're going to not sell our stuff. We're going down to the dungeon and I hope nothing terrible has happened Because I don't really remember what I did or anything right now. Did I do something bad? Some of you guys have told me that something bad might have happened in my absence here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not uh, But yeah, we're going to the dungeon uh, and uh, we're gonna talk to that guy give him the strange liquid see what he says about that and um uh, yeah, we're all after that. We're going to explore a little bit more around here. Actually, I think I know what happened. This guy's gonna be dead, I think. So we need to go there as well. Uh, hopefully, they will be dead because I don't care for for the rebels. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the dungeon, chat to the guy, and um, see what happens. Oh man, so why is it all so dark? Activate that thing. There we go. Now, where's this old dude? I think it was right here. Oh, there's Lander right there. Yeah, I don't need to come here. Yeah, I don't need. Hey. Oh, yeah, so here you go. Thank you, young man. Oh, he talks now. I have been like this for many years. Now I can have my revenge. Revenge? An old lunatic mage did this to me. He cursed me and seduced my lovely wife. What's his name? His name is Lee. Now that I can speak again, I will find him and give him what he deserves. What are you going to do? Curse him, of course. Killing him wouldn't be enough of a punishment. I've thought about this for so long. At first I wanted to turn him into a pig, but someone might slaughter him then. I want him to suffer for decades. I'm going to turn him into a rat. A big, fat, smelly rat that like he... The like he really is. Are you really sure of this? You would do the same. He took my freedom and took my wife. Yeah, take care of yourself. Oh, he's off. Yeah, he's apparently a mage as well. I mean, if you would be able to... To, uh... Curse somebody, I guess he would be a mage. How do I get to Lander, though? Is that a secret place or something? I don't think so. Hmm. And I can't see in there, so I can't use the tele the teleport. Why didn't I open this? Take that. Uh, okay, so let's continue looking around Ertl. We have, uh, we have a few quests to do around here as well. We need to go to a lot of places. We need to go to a lot of places. Unfortunately, I don't remember half of those. But don't worry, I got you back. If I, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete them all, but anyway, doesn't matter. Let's have a chatty. Oh, Adelaide doesn't want to talk. Let's see what we have here. A few more. I'll take that. And Kara. Hello, Kara. She looks upset and frightened. She keeps stopping and just listens around as if she's she's heard something. I'm looking for work. Welcome, young man. I, I, I don't need any help at the moment, but thank you. I... Uh, I can, I can tell you something curious if, you, if you're interested. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Uh, I've been hearing noises lately. Every time I go near the abandoned houses, I hear strange noises. What kind of noises? I, I don't know, really. I, it might be sounds of a rat or some similar creature. But where does the sound come from? Well, I have no idea. Well, I tell you, there's something underground. People always talked about the secret passage beneath the city that the nobles used when they escaped. But the sounds come from there. You might be right. Okay, so that was not a quest. And that's the secret pass. It's not that secret. Come on, you should be able to see it easily enough. I I was able to see it easily enough. Um, 
Anyway, let's uh, drink a little bit, refill my stuff, and keep going. We got Ted and George, and uh, then we have Roberta, and we have Leah, Lee over there. Hey, George, where are you going, man? He's, he doesn't want to talk. Ted doesn't want to talk either. So, yeah. I wonder if this was the abandoned houses she was talking about, though. Because she did say near the abandoned houses, and there's no abandoned... I don't know. Hey, Leah, what's up? Uh, ooh, she te teaches me about a bunch of stuff. That's good. Huh. She's a young and graceful woman. Her long red hair turns runs down her shoulders. Somehow she reminds me of Dana. I sense the same calmness around her as if... Oh, yeah, this is one of the... Uh, I remember. Uh, so can you teach me a recipe? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. She can't. Okay. So I want to learn my, my alchemy. Uh, Secrets of the Arcane. That's for 10. I don't need that. Become smarter. Not interested. Nah, not interested in becoming smarter. I'd like to learn Gift of the Forest. That's Arcane. And summon a healing tree to aid you and your pet. Touch of the Wisps. While the effect is active, all healing done to you is increased by 25%. That's pretty nice. Meditation. Meditate for 4 turns. Every ability spell has a 50% chance of reset to reset its cooldown. 50%? You are crazy. Pet cleanse. Removes basic harmful effects from your pet. Not interested. Not interested in any of these. Uh, but do teach me about alchemy, though. Nope. No, 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 no. About this. Oh, man, it's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah, it's very easy to spend your... It shouldn't be that easy. So, Leah, can you t teach me a bit more? She cannot. So... I don't know what these do. Let's go with that. I feel warmth. My health has increased. Has it? Didn't see. Oh, it does. Oh. I need your blessing. Okay, let's go with that one. My health. Oh, that's... That's fine. She doesn't give me more of the thousand one. So, yeah, maybe I should have paid attention to this one. Because it does bring your health up by a little bit. Not by a whole lot, but a little bit. Just getting the blessing right there. Mm-hmm. That one made sound for some reason. It's the, the 50... The fifty dollar one that gives you, makes you sound. Anyway, I uh, was good removing the debuffs and everything else is good. See you later, Leah. Actually, I'm gonna mark you on the map because you might be required. Oh, she's marked already. Oh yeah, because I've been here. That's right. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's ex keep exploring. Oh, that's the thing. I haven't gone there. That's where the rats were. So I need to remember that. Roberta is gonna be there. I'm gonna check. This thing, actually, we are out of time for the day. I just now looked at my timer, and indeed, that is the case. So let's go down there. I won't leave you hanging. I will not in the cliff, anyway. Ooh. Ow! So this is Lander. That's how you get to Lander. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Ballroom. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.